guys, this is Ravi once again and I hope you're all doing really well. And today I wanted to present another video of a workout to you all um, and uh, which specifically focuses on the arms. I've had um, a few uh, few of my contacts call me up and say, look, you know, we haven't got access to uh, much uh, much weights. And uh, in fact, some even have said that you know, we ain't got no access to no weights and so on. And we wanna want you to show us exercises that um, that uh, work the arms. And uh, so I thought, okay, that's fine. I mean, even with something simple as like a medicinal ball, we can get quite an effective workout in, right? Okay, and so today, like I said, I'll be focusing on the arms and biceps and triceps and help lean the arms up and, um, and also attack the, you know, the fat on the arms and so on. I'll show you the exercises that you can use to tone your arms up, right? Okay, as well as that, I was um, also wanted to focus on the legs and a bit of the core as well. So uh, we'll, we'll also be uh, doing some uh, spots as well, just to focus on the, on the legs. And uh, so, on. so before we get started with this workout, I I wanted to uh, play some uh, get cracking some music, right? So let's just uh, for a quick warm up, guys. I suggest um, like I've suggested before previously, it's always important to warm up. And so let's start some star jumps. Come on, arms up nice and high. Bring your legs out. Remember, always try to uh, aim between at least five to ten minutes of a warm up prior to any workout, as it helps raise your heart rate, get your body warmed up for the workout, right? And most importantly, it helps release the sign of your fluid between the joints. That loop uh, that provides the lubrication between the joints, right? When you're working out, because if you dive straight into the workout and you're not warmed up, you will find that after some time of doing an intensive workout, you will begin to feel aches and pains in your joints. So always warm up, right? Okay. Next up, guys, your jog on the spot. Keep going. Always make sure you do um, enough of a warm up so you feel warmed up, your body's ready to work out, and it also prevents injuries as well. Move those arms, move your legs. Keep going, guys. Final jumps. Backs nice and straight. Here we go, and then feet forward, back and forth, arms up. Shoulder height. He's got a clipper. Next up guys, wall climbers, arms up nice and high. Keep going, knees up nice and high. Reach out with your arms. And let's get climbing. Come on, 30 seconds remaining.
Knees up nice and high. Okay. Now, next up, guys. Big circles with the arms. Warm your shoulders up. Arms. Keep going. Forwards. Right. Now, palm face the upwards, shoulder presses. Facing forwards, elbows in line with the shoulders, we're going to push forward. 3, 2, 1, go. So keep going. Feel your chest warming up. Okay. Get your arms warmed up. Right, you keep moving around. Right, form bicep curl. Warm up the biceps. Now triceps. Remember, we do this without weights prior to any exercise, or you can use them in light weights. Just to warm yourself up, yeah? You don't need nothing too intensive. I mean, you don't need nothing too heavy. So, uh, so yeah. Well, anyway, let's get, uh, let's get stuck into the workout now, right? So, first of all, today I'm going to show you exercises, right? That you can do at home without using any weights, yeah? Okay? So, so because a lot of people have come uh, come back to me via text saying that you know we haven't got access to any equipment. Show us exercises that we can perform at home uh, and stay fit. Okay. Well, anyway, the first one is a deadlift. Very good exercise. It works your core, hamstrings, uh, quadriceps, and your glutes, and so on. And let's go, guys. So we're going to do what. 15 repetitions, I'll show you how to do the exercise. Right? So keeping your back nice and straight, feet shoulder width apart, right? We're gonna go down and come straight back up, guys. But remember, remember, keep your backs nice and straight and do not lean forward, do not slouch your backs, and uh, feet firmly on the floor. You're three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As you come up, drive with the back of your foot, and drive upwards, yeah? Right, so you feel the contraction running down your hamstrings. Okay. 13, 14, and 15. Okay, great. So that was the deadlift exercise, which works your uh, hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, and uh, also works the core as well, yeah? A very good exercise, good for your stability, your balance, and, uh, and so on. And next exercise, guys, 
I'm going to show you is the squat with the ball above the head, yeah? Okay? So once again, working our legs, core, with a bit of arms, yeah? Okay? In fact, working the arms. Alright, so keep your shoulders a bit to part again. Alright, what we're going to do is go down in squat position, and as we come up, we're going to raise the ball above our head, yeah? 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake from the side. Okay. So back side to straight. Feet shoulder width apart. Toes facing forward. Three, two, one. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. So that was the squats with the ball above the head, and uh, once again a very good exercise for our legs, quadriceps, hamstring, glutes, core, and the arms. Right. And uh, next up, guys, I'm going to show you some exercises for the muscle groups that I want to specifically target today, right? And the reason why I put the legs first, right, is because the legs is a big, uh, is, is the biggest muscle group in the body. And whenever you're training legs or big muscle groups and combining them with smaller muscle groups like triceps, um, biceps, etc., yeah? Always remember, to train the biggest muscle groups first because they demand a lot more energy, right? And so, you know, it's always important to do them first and then work your way downwards towards the smaller muscle groups, yeah? All right, so next up, guys, is the bicep curls. So, if, grab the, uh, grab the medicinal board on both ends, right? Keep your elbows uh, locked in, right? Close to your body. And do not let them come uh, swing back and forth here. Yeah? So the idea is, is that we're gonna only um, move, go up and down with our forearms, yeah? Right, so chain for the front, right? On the canopy, let's do 15 repetitions together. Back slice and straight. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, Come up three quarters away, five, six, seven, right, and also go down quite uh, to, about, to about there, where you feel, uh, because when you come up, you want it to be a, a nice, decent range of motion, yeah? So you feel the contraction in your arms, okay? Go down to about waistline point, okay? Keep going. Fourteen and fifteen. Okay, great, good stuff. So that was a bicep curl, and the few um, points that I went to uh, cover on that was that uh, obviously keeping your elbows locked into your body, right? Right. Make sure they don't move back and forth. Your arms don't swing back and forth. Yeah. The only part of your arm that should be moving is your forearm. Yeah. Okay. So there, and then obviously start off at a point where the ball is at that way, is uh, just right around your waistline, right? Bring it up and then come up about three quarters of the way and you should begin to do a contraction in your biceps, okay? And uh, once again, a very effective exercise. I would say perform at least two to three sets like that, 15 to 20 repetitions, and uh, that should help you pull your arms up, okay? All right? Okay. Right, next up guys is the tricep, uh, tricep extensions. Okay, so what I generally tend to do is raise the, uh, get down on my knees, raise the ball above my head, right? Keeping your elbows uh, in, uh, close to your head as much as possible, 
right? Keep your elbows close, close to your head as much as possible. And what you want to do is come down to a point where there's a 90 degree angle of the elbows, right? Roughly about there. And push up. One, two, three, four, five. Try not to swing your arms out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. five more. Time from the front. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Okay. Wow. Great exercise. I actually, you know, began to feel the triceps getting the pump here. Yeah? Okay. So, a very effective exercise. Okay. And uh, the key thing, the key points to remember for that exercise is that is never let your arms out. Never let your elbows swing out and then perform the exercise. Always keep them close, close to your head as much as possible. So the only part of your arm that's going to do the movement is the forearm. And then and try and extend to a point where you know you do, do the contraction in the tricep. Okay? Right? And that in turn that exercise will help you tone your triceps up. Okay? So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and the share button and uh, I will definitely be back with more videos um, to help you guys train at home. In the meantime, stay safe, take care, rubby.